okay so before we go ahead and start the video i just want to add i am not a professional and this video is mostly disappointing because i failed and it didn't went as i planned it to go but i still got the job done so i guess it's worth watching anyways i got some cheap racing harness i'll leave the link down in the description below and of course i gotta put them on They're like two inches for like $70 for both. They're pretty much quality, of course, boats, because they really seem safe. Of course, for the price, it's not gonna be a lot. It seems pretty legit. The only thing is I can't wrap them in the harness bar, which I don't have, it's still on the mail. So I'm gonna do the seat belts first and then I'm gonna do the harness bar in a different video. So. I'm over here at Home Depot, of course, just in case I need anything. The tools you need will be a T50 Torx bit. I didn't find it here in Home Depot, so I went to AutoZone and they had it. A ratchet, 18 millimeter socket extension bit, just in case. And last but not least, you need a 3 4th wrench. So this will be for the seat belt over here, for the buckle seat got the screw right there okay so let's go ahead and jump in the video so first things first of course put your seats all the way up um, you got like this thing right here it's supposed to be a black plastic I don't know depending on your model lift it up of course just in case you don't know how to put it up so I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the sides first that will be the t50 Torx bit I would try and give you guys a good quality video quality I'm like 6'2 and I can't I can really fit back here. I, have, I don't have much space, but let's go ahead. Take this one out. Like I said, it's a T50 Torx bit. So as you can tell, it's already out. I'm gonna grab the one of the screws that the harness belts came with. I'm gonna compare which one is longer. Cause I got the harness part that goes there. Oops, so I need more length. So the stock screw is longer. So I guess I'm gonna use this one still. I'm also gonna leave the stock seat belt just in case somebody big gets in the car. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this like that. I can't seem to take it out. Either way, this is the side. So I'll, it doesn't need adjustment for me, of course. It depends the way you like it, but I don't really mind since I'm not gonna go crazy with this build. So the next thing you wanna go ahead and do, you wanna grab one of your harness belts. Grab the one that's short. I think this is the one that goes on the side. This one is long, this one goes on the top. And put this to the side. This one is also long, put it to the side. This one has the cam lot, I think. So this one goes through the inside, like this part right there, of course. So, you got the small one, go ahead. This one goes with the cam lock, so you don't need to screw this one in. You got this one, which looks like a triangle. This is the one you wanna go in. Make sure it fits with the stock seat belts. It does, it's nice and tight. So, what you want to do, grab your sick bell, make sure it's not twisted, put it in the screw, put it back, tighten it down. So I already got it in. Um, I might leave it a little loose so it could go a little bit, you know, sideways, just in case it needs adjustment. You know what? I'm sorry, I changed my mind. I'm gonna leave it tight. I'm gonna leave it facing upward. So this one is way more uncomfortable. I'll try and get the good angle for you guys. Let me set up the camera. This thing right here does not spin on the 3 4th. So it's gonna be a lot harder for me to take the screw out. Make it loose a little bit. Start taking it out with your finger. This is actually a knot. So now grab the cam lock. Make sure this goes outward. I don't know if you guys can see right here on the video. Camera, of course. 
this thing that prevents the metal thing from going, you know, adjusting. So you're gonna have to put it facing the other way, facing that way, not this way. So the best thing to actually do it is, you know, just find this thing, the cam lock that's facing outward, and just put it on top of the seat belt. Not the seat belt, the seat, I'm sorry. You wanna tie it in and out. So for the bag, you gotta take out the seat right in the middle of the back seat. You have some clips. You just gotta go ahead and find it. I believe you just take it out with a screwdriver. So I think these clips are broken. Oh, so you lift up the seat and get the clip. Put it to the side. So I actually gotta go ahead and go to Home Depot and get a WD-40 because it's pretty tight in there. If you already have the WD-40, try spread it on here. If not, try to find the screw under the car and just spray it. Okay, so I actually went, got some WD-40. I don't know if you guys can see, but all of this is wet. Um, it's been over 30 minutes and I still can't take this out, the T50. As you can see, I already stripped it. I went under the car, trying to take out the, you know, like, lubricated with the WD-40 and still nothing. I tried to put it on this one right here. It's a 10 millimeter, but my, my ratchet is not working. So for now, I'm just gonna put this side. This is a 19 or 3 fourth. Yeah, so this one is a 18. It goes here, you just take it out. It should be a bolt. Okay, so the bolt is out. Now you wanna put in the last, you know, this facing up. Make sure it's not twisted. Once again, the triangle metal goes in the screw, or whatever this is. Take this out. Put it in. Once again, make sure you have it the right way. Okay, make sure. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand, okay? It's not twisted. There you go. Grab this thing again. And of course, you want to sandwich it with the bolt. Or with the nut. Okay, so of course, once you have it in, you want to put it right there, make sure it's not twisted. It's better if you do this with somebody else. If you're doing it by yourself, just be patient. And just adjust it through here. And on this side, you just make the minor, the minor adjustment. So I'm guessing it's just like, you want this type of length. This to be on your, between your chest or something. Not a professional, I don't know if that's how it goes, but that's the way I will do it. Forgot to mention, make sure you're connected and at least have it measured. If you're doing it with a friend, have them adjust it on this side and you on this side, or have them sit and you just adjust it. But for now, I will leave it like that. I'm gonna leave some extra because I gotta add the harness bar. It's gonna be kinda like this. Also, I'm gonna, put the, I'm gonna try to put the back seat once again so it should be sandwich and you know a little bit extra I'm go ahead and do the same thing I did on the passenger side hopefully the star bit comes out and the, the star bit in the back comes out if not then I was just put the one of the belts as a look you know since I already I still will have the stock seat belts so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I already got them in, adjusting everything. The only thing this one is loose, since the bolt wasn't coming out. I did not do the other side, cause the bolt from over there wasn't coming out, but I was just deal with this for now. It looks pretty good. I will go more in depth over about how it looks later on. But for now, it looks okay, I guess, but it looks, ugly since I don't have the harness bar so it's just for looks for now
I already have them on and it feels extremely loose and not safe. I don't have the harness bar once again. And I think I need to do more adjustments in the bag. But for now, like I said, this is for looks. I got the stock seat belt still. So I'm not gonna use this, you know, for road use, only off-road, even though I'm not gonna go off-road. But like I said multiple times in the video, it's for looks for now, of course, until I get the harness bar, which is uh, a week or two weeks. And I'm gonna put it in and set up everything the way I want it to be and more safe. With that do set, or I don't know what I'm saying right now. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. If you want more videos, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, or do whatever you gotta do. I'm not forcing you. I got many more things to come in the channel. This is a total fail, a real fail. That's it. Thank you and peace out.